Hey everyone, um, we're actually going to respond to questions on the YouTube channel today. So we got a question from Sandra uh, regarding approvers and uh, I will dig into that Sandra. Uh, I just not really sure how BC has evolved with that. I just got to revisit it. Um, but the question was regarding uh, how do you have a different approver for purchasing and different approver for sales uh, and how do the approver groups work? Um, so, so we're going to check on that and have a video on that. And then I had another question from Chip on item charges and I had promised myself I was done with item charges, but of course uh, there was something more to dig in there. It's a deep topic. It's really good. So I'm actually going to do a video on that, on that question. The question was, uh, what happens if you have closed the period which you affected with an item charge? So let's say if we have uh, a timeline here. So this is January and that's February. And then you have a, the purchase here in January uh, and you have maybe the sale as well in January. And then you have the item charge in February that affects the purchase and cost of goods sold on this one in uh, January. So this is between periods and you have maybe closed out January. You reported January, closed it out uh, and you don't want January to change. That would be bad. So how does Business Central handle that? So Business Central, uh, the only thing that Business Central requires you to is to close the year. So let's say this is 2019. So when 2019 is done, or let's say 18, since that just passed, uh, you have to close it in order to post retained earnings, all of that, clear out the, uh, the income statement accounts, etc. That's the only requirement. However, if you like to close out months, you can. And I'm going to show you that in the screen share. So what you could do is uh, inventory close out January. So if you inventory close out January, so that's closed, and you're open in February, and there's an item charge that comes and hits the purchase in January and it's happening in February. Where do those adjustments go? Where do they get booked? And they will actually get booked on the first open day in February. So they just bunch up there. Uh, and <laughs> however, when you report, uh, you can on the item ledger entries, you can of course sum up there and report the actual numbers. Uh, if you have the open filter, etc. But just from a GL perspective, from, uh, it will post on the first day in February. So that's important. Uh, so I recommend uh, if people are doing a whole lot of item charges and making sure things jive, just close out the inventory periods regularly when you're actually closing out the month. The way people in Business Central close out months, other than from an inventory perspective, it's just by a date range. So they say allow posting, posting uh, from like 1-1-19-2, one, one, uh, 1-31-19. So it allows, I'm sorry, uh, let's say 2, 2-28. So if I do that, um, I'm not allowed to post anywhere else. So now I'm open in February. I'm not open anymore in January. So I've closed out the allow posting. And I'm going to show that in the screen share as well. Uh, however, you can close out inventory periods, meaning that it's closed, closed. But you can still book everything else. So it has a, a flexibility there. And you can also close out from all posting the period, but I don't recommend that because you still want to be able to go back and maybe do fixes as a super user. So you don't, you don't want to hard close it. Uh, anyways, that's how item charge works. And I'm going to do a quick screen share on where those windows are and just show you like how to change them. And hopefully that will take care of the item charge topic for a little bit. We'll see. Thank you. So let's take a look at the system. Basically, I'm not going to go ahead and post the item charges again. Uh, that might be a little bit of an exercise, but what I'll do is go into the 
uh, accounting periods inside Business Central uh, just to show you how this works. So you set up accounting periods here and it's usually the months of the year which are the accounting periods and you have a new fiscal year here defined you can actually define this any way you want your accounting periods could be weeks um, could be however long standard is by month and you can close them out whenever you want you don't have to close them out individually every month if you do close them um, you cannot post in, into them so it's a little bit of a, a negative to close anything less than a year. However, you can close an inventory period. So if I go in here into, let's see, where was this again? Inventory period. I get a whole list uh, to create inventory periods. And, you know, I could just go ahead and create a year in here. And I can then close that. So I can create each month or a quarter or however I want to close the inventory period and close the inventory period. So the way that works is that if an inventory period is closed, any changes to the inventory, like an item charge hitting into that period, will go into the first day of that uh, period. So if I say here the ending date is, uh, uh, let's say, 31119 um, uh, then if I close this any adjustments that will be made will be posted on the 1st of February 19 and so you can manage the inventory that way and this is very powerful uh, so so you can both manage the general postings over here and I in my mind you should just close them at the end of the year and manage the inventory separately and you close that every month um, and so how do you avoid people posting uh, willy-nilly into any month uh, in the past if you keep the year open you actually manage that with the user setup so inside the user setup uh, you have allow posting from blow posting to uh, and you can basically specify there uh, who is allowed to post and you can actually in general uh, restrict that for the entire company and then allow people to post back to specifically so it is a high flexibility of how you allow people to post in the system giving you both the opportunity of posting into a closed period if you have the you have the rights to do it uh, and then avoiding any inventory uh, changes to go into that period so I hope that explained it. I know it's a pretty heavy topic. Uh, we're definitely deep into the engine here, but, uh, but very vital at the same time when you're setting up. And, uh, and that's it.